Welcome back to school. Um, as you can see, we are going to have a math lesson, and there's Gus. She's saying hi to you. Um, we are starting a new chapter today, and I have some old vocabulary words that we already know. So addition, so putting two things together to make more. Adding, which means the same thing as addition, right? Um, this is, whoa, this is our plus sign, which means to add. And in order to have an equation, you need to have a plus or a minus, numbers, and an equal sign. When we are adding, we are always looking for the sum, okay? So this number at the end is always the sum. Another word for it is total. Okay, we've had both of those things. And we are also talking a lot about place value. Okay, we have talked about numbers with two digits, which are numbers in another number, right? However many numbers there are in the number. And then also... I am not sure why this little guy is in the way here. Oh dear. Oh. Well, hopefully he'll move. There he goes. Okay. So here is our definition of digit. So however many numbers are in the whole number. And so when we talk about place value, we've talked about two-digit numbers a lot. We've also been comparing three-digit numbers. So something we have learned about is regrouping. Some of you call it borrowing. Some of you call it stealing. It's called many different things, but this is the actual term. Regroup, okay? That is the actual term. So it's trading a 10 for ones or vice versa. Well, now we are going to be trading hundreds, okay? So today's lesson is right here. This should look familiar to you, okay? It says we already know about hundreds, tens, and ones. Now we're going to use these strategies to add three-digit numbers. So it just wants you to practice. We're just going to be practicing, okay? And I just want you to do your best. I know that sometimes math can be frustrating, but we have talked a lot about different tools that we can use. Look, they're even here. Connecting cubes, counters. Maybe you have something at home you could use as counters. Base 10 blocks. We've used those before. Another way to use base 10 blocks would be to draw them, right? So we have 100, 10, and a one. Those could be your base 10 blocks. You could even cut out things for that to work. Number charts and an open number line, which is that, okay? And we can jump as far or as near to the numbers as we want. So let's look at the lesson. It says there are 214 fish in the giant tank at an aquarium. There are 131 other sea animals in the tank. How many animals live in the giant tank? Hmm. Well, what would I need to do first? Are we adding or subtracting? Hmm. Tell somebody at home what you think. You are right. We are adding. So we want to add 214 because that's how many fish there are. And we want to add 131 because that is how many other sea animals live in the tank. So we are going to add these two numbers together and see what we get. Now, in order to add them together, one method that I like to use, because my brain works that way, is to make blocks for the hundreds, sticks for the tens, and circles for the ones. Okay, so this is 214, 10 and 4 ones. This is 131. Now I'm going to add them all together. 
And it looks like I have 300. Wow, that's a big number. And how many tens? 10, 20, 30, 40. And then I'm going to add, oops, I'm sorry, you cannot see. Then I'm going to add my ones that are left over. That's the smallest number. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And I'm using my five group up there on top because if we have five fingers and five on the top, we never need to recount those. So we have 300, 40, five. Pretty good. Did you get that? If you didn't, what happened? Let's check. Did you use an open number line? We're adding, right? If we're adding these two numbers together, we can start wherever we want. So if we have 200 and, oopsies, I almost said 41. 214, and we need to add 131 to that, we could jump to 314, right? Because that's 100 already. And then we could jump to 300, oops. And then if we're gonna add the tens, we needed to add three tens, then we could go to 334. I need to make my open number line longer. Woo. Then we need to add five ones. I think I did something wrong. I did. You know why? I only added, I only added 20 instead of 30. So I added 30 here. I added 100 here. And then, here's this little guy. One gets me to 345. Here is my answer. Okay. So I jumped, I'm going to go over it one more time. 100 from 214 to 314. Then I jumped. 314 to 344 because I added 30. Then I only needed to add one more because this is the number we're adding. You don't need to worry about taking away. We're not learning about subtraction today. Okay? So there is your lesson for the day. I would like for you to, um, on the back of here, there is problem about a tiger, okay? And it reminds me of this crazy show that people are watching called Tiger King. Anyway, there are 236 animals that live in the first part of the zoo. There are 152 animals that live in the second part of the zoo. How many animals live in both parts? Well, are we adding or taking away? Hmm. Tell somebody at home, even if it's your pet or a stuffed animal. Oh, I heard you. You are right. We are adding. We are adding 236 plus 152. I want you to show me how you're going to get your answer or your solution. And I want you to take a picture and put it on here so I can see what you did to figure it out. Cool? Awesome. Math lesson is done for the day. Nice